Question 16. A rectangular piece of paper, not drawn to scale, is shown in figure 1. Six identical triangles were cut out from the rectangular paper as shown in figure 2. The shaded area of the paper in figure 2 is 279 square centimeters. So this is where 279 square centimeters is. Part A. What is the area of each triangle? Now this is relatively straightforward because all we have to do is to find the area of the rectangle in figure 1. 25 times 15 take away the shaded area in figure 2 which is 279 and we will get 96 which represents the area of the 6 identical triangles so to find the area of one triangle 96 divided by 6 we will get 16 as our answer for part A moving on the perimeter of the shaded part in figure 2 is 54 centimeters longer than the perimeter of the rectangular paper in figure 1. Although the six triangles are identical, they may or may not be isosceles triangles. In other words, this blue line that I'm highlighting and this red line here may or may not be the same length. To be on the safe side, I would not assume that the blue line and the red line are equal in length. But the blue lines are all equal and the red lines are all equal. Over the other side, we have three more pairs of red lines and blue lines. So before we find the perimeter of each triangle, we have to find the length of the red and the blue lines. As the perimeter of figure 2 is 54 cm longer than the perimeter of figure 1, what we can do is we can take 15 times 2 plus 54 to get 84. Now this 84 is the sum of all the red and the blue lines that I've drawn. Alternatively, you can find the perimeter of figure 1 and add 54 to it and then subtract two lengths of 25 cm and you will also get 84. As we do not know whether each red line is equal to each blue line, what we can do is we can put one blue line and one red line as a set. If you want to find the length of one red line plus one blue line, we can just take 84 divide by 6 because there are 6 sets of red and blue lines and you will get 14 so whether the triangles are isosceles or not is irrelevant here because the blue line could be 6.9 cm the red line could be 7.1 they add up to 14 or both could be 7 cm a piece and they also add up to 14 so to complete this question don't forget to add the green line here and the green line can be found by taking 15 divided by 3 and that will give you 5 cm so if you take 14 cm the red and the blue line plus the green line 5 cm you will get 19 cm which is the perimeter of each triangle